All right, no one track is getting wet, but we have to do one more way. So, Paul, let's get this thing over and done with before we go to the next arena. That's right. All we have left for week 17 are Sergeant Gisborough, Dorothy Miller, and Penny Days for race number 8 of the Warriors Division. And they will be all done for this week. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this place! Alright, so Sasha Gizmo looking to complete the list of winners to approve the 5 and 0 this week. She has won 4 straight races heading into this week's race. Maybe she'll have enough luck to go 5 and 0 this week. If she can hold off the yellow boys in a hurry. She is the best swimmer of the, of the 24 women's division divas. And right now, the 3 child going to eat the food. And it looks like Penny Days is going to have come in on the lean. Sasha Gizmo not too far behind in 2nd place. And as Penny Day heads for the water, the first superstar against the best is number one. And number one is Silver Child is going to rest. So he will drop down a couple of places. Right now, number eight is getting left behind on the competition. So it's number seven. And it looks like both of these Silver Child are heading for the water. As number eight, fighting the stay alive in the game, takes PS number two for the final race of week 17. <coughs> Right now, Penny Days has a commanding lead, but be sure to know about Sergeant Gizmo's incredible swimming ability. That's a key factor to winning a Women's Division Championship this season. And so the next previous win made by number six, who does win the years against Jeff every now and then. Sergeant Gizmo trying to make a statement here on the only one, trying to catch up to our current lead at Penny Days as we pass the one minute mark in this race as number seven. While well, the next command speed and right now number two is getting left behind from the other silver child. Number two is trying his best to stay alive in the game. <coughs> and I think number six is possible for one. Yep. So he will join number two for the life. As number two, who leaves number six in the dust, takes the next command speed Meanwhile, Penny Days has some commanding lead still by Sasha Gizmo starting to feel in the groove again. I do believe Sanji Gispo should have a chance to make the pass from Penny Days. Next PS belongs to number 6. That makes his second speed bus in the race. And it looks like Penny Days is going to rest. And so is Sanji Gispo. But they'll still be able to fight for the lead up in the front. Penny Days trying to defend the lead over Sanji Gispo at the cam win. And Sanji Gispo vowing to make her swimming ability impossible. Takes the next command SPS. Sasha gets well, rapidly catching up to Penny Days. She should have an easy chance to make the pass from Penny Days. And there she goes! Busting down the line over at the Ruby course. And she's gonna boot a 5 0 this week. As number 8 takes the next PS, Sasha gets well, is the final winner of week 13 here in Baltimore, Maryland. She's still undefeated at 5 0 this week. We've had a pleasant victory over Penny Days. Who will come in second place? Well done by Sasha Gizmo. Maybe she will be lucky enough to win a women's major championship. As number eight gets bad back to us, and I think that's gonna do it for the speed bus. Yep, yeah, number two can just forget about this race. He's going home. All right, so that's it for week 17. Sasha here in Baltimore, Maryland. Congratulations to Sasha Gizmo on proving the five and zero. Oh. That's why right, I'm gonna close our show a little bit. But right now, let's hear one from this.